Hello, welcome to a tabletop bellhop cardboard coat check. That is the silly name we've given to our unboxing series, where, like we normally do, we're trying to answer your gaming game night questions, and that question happens to be what's in the box. Today, the box we're talking about is this Talisman Legendary Tales from Pegasus Spiel, licensed from the British gaming giant Games Workshop. Who brought you the original Talisman board game way back in the 1980s? Before we get into that history, I am Motuzno, the tabletop bellhop, your cardboard concierge. Uh, we're trying to be a dear Abbey for gamers, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. To that end, you can send your gaming and game night questions to questions at tabletopbellhop.com or go to our website, tabletopbellhop.com, and click on Ask the Bellhop. On that website, you can also find the answers to those gaming questions, but if you're not one for reading blogs, you can also find those answers live on Twitch every Wednesday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern, where Sean and I record the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast. If you can't join us live, you can tune in on Tuesdays, where we go live on all the podcatchers, Spotify, Apple, all those things. You can find us as the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, and you can catch a video version of that on YouTube. If you are on YouTube, before you leave, hit that subscribe button. For those of you here watching on Twitch, hit that follow button. Enough promotion, let's get to this game. First up, just a little bit of background. The first hobby board game I bought with my own money as a kid with my allowance was Talisman. That was the second edition. I loved that game. I played the heck out of Talisman. I have probably played more games of Talisman than any other modern board game out there ever. Maybe some card games got to be, maybe concept, because you can play in about five minutes, but Talisman's up there. I used to bring it to every family event. I used to bring it to barbecues. We played so much Talisman. The thing is, Talisman's dated. It's, it's an older game. So when I heard they were putting out a cooperative family edition of Talisman, I was excited. This seemed like the perfect thing to share my love of Talisman with my girls without them having to experience the six to eight hour slog that is the original game. Um, while I do have fond memories of Talisman, it is not uh, a great game by today's standards, and I'm really hoping this lives up to the Talisman name and is something my whole family can enjoy. I will admit right up front, this was provided by Pegasus Spiel to me for the purpose of reviewing. First step of reviewing this is going to be opening this box to see what's in it. You're gonna get to see me live, and hear my thoughts as I open it. it literally, you're going to hear it as I see stuff for the first time. Um, other than that, once I do have this open, I'm going to be playing it in the coming weeks. You'll be able to see me talking about this game on social media. Instagram is a big place where I like to share my pictures. I'll be on Twitter. I'll be letting people know when I play it. We'll be talking about it on the podcast as we play it. But eventually, I'll produce a full review. That'll be on tabletopbellhop.com where you can find other gaming reviews. But enough of that. Let's see what's in the box. So I'm just going to start off, Exacto. sorry, not an Exacto hobby knife. We're not sponsored by Exacto. Cut this open. Experience the legendary tale in five different adventures. Fulfill tricky tasks and win the talisman together. Each adventure may be played again and again, solo or with up to six players. Each time presenting you with new challenges. Five of the legendary talismans have disappeared. Evo forces seek to find them in order to seize the Crown of Command, a magical artifact of immense power. Brave heroes that you are, you have banded together to go on a quest to retrieve all five talismans, and thereby stop the evil powers from ruling the world. This task won't be easy. Finding each talisman is an epic adventure in itself. However, if you work together using everyone's abilities and helping one another when you can, you will surely succeed. But careful, you don't turn into a toad. I gotta say, that sounds like Talisman. You got a crown of command, you're trying to find a Talisman, and you can get turned into a toad. Which hopefully doesn't mean you lose all your progress in the game so far and have to start from scratch, because that was one of the problems with the original game. Um, it notes that you're going to defeat enemies with the powers in your magic bags and collect rewards like magic artifacts or trusty followers to make yourself stronger. Again, that's a nice Talisman tie-in right there. You gotta say, though, that does not look like the game I grew up with.
One bonus, dig this size box. These fit good on shelves. I like the standard ticket to ride box. Any company that does this, even if you got some wasted space in the box, I don't mind because it'll stack nice on my shelf. Right off the bat, we've got some rules and we're going to have some punch outs because this is a modern board game. I will get back to the rules. All right, so we have some nice thick cardboard. Just to show off the thickness, pretty much standard here. Full color, really nice evocative art. Let's show off some of those characters there. Everything two sided. Um, character tokens. Looks like places to explore. I like the artwork. It's not quite as grim dark as the original. I see some actual talismans there. Talisman definitely was a. Uh, Based on and inspired by the Warhammer universe. So some of these punch boards are attached still. There we go. That came apart easy enough. More tokens. I'm guessing the player's colors. And more tokens and locations. Uh, some of these are two-sided with different stuff on the back. It's a lot of boards in here. It's a lot of cardboard. Letting that autofocus... Still going, still going. More character tokens. Looks good so far. Terrible box insert, come on, what is this? What is with games and lack of box inserts? I don't know what these slits are. There's slits at the top for no reason I can see. Hmm. Okay, I don't know why. I do see baggies. Bonus. If you're not going to give me a box insert, at least give me baggies. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, we have a bag. Wow, we have a bunch of bags. These are nice. Wow. Okay, this is... Uh, unfortunately, you can't touch these. They're like silk. The, these are some of the nicest board game bags I've ever put my hands on. These are really nice. Okay, nice bags. Bonus points there. Should probably be six of these for six characters. Everyone gets their own bag. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I don't know. Maybe the DM gets one. Maybe there's a spare bag. Nice bags. Bonus points for the nice bags. Plus bonus points for Ziploc baggies. So at least everything in this box is going to stay in some type of order. The other thing in here is a D6-ish, maybe. Yes, no. One, two, three, two. So no, not a D6. A six-sided die. So, I don't know what that symbol is. So, what do we have on here? We have a one, two twos, a three, a four with an hourglass, and uh, whatever that is. That is not a symbol I recognize. So, wooden die. It's nice. Um, yeah, this is... The, okay, it is. What's weird? Yeah. Okay, it is. It's engraved. It's really hard to tell. I thought that was just painted on, but no, those are engraved. So again, you're probably not going to have to worry about paint rubbing off. And if it does, it'd be easy to fix. All right. The only other thing we've got here are these really big player boards. It's going to be nice and easy to see from across the table, at least. All right. Didn't need the exacto. I don't see anywhere to track fate and craft and strength, so... Oh, these are adventures. Okay, so here's your, your five different adventures. And there's two sides to each one? No, I don't know. Oh, chapter one and two. So these are thin. Gotta say, not impressed by these compared to the quality of the stuff. That That's a thin player board. I'm sure it works. Just, it's disappointing to see. Like, it would have been nice if this was as thick as the other cardboard. Um, especially compared to other games I've opened recently. That's, that's a flimsy card. It's all right. As long as it doesn't get wet, it should be fine. I might be tempted to laminate these because I'll be playing with the kids. They are also slightly warped. Uh, text is rather small. I got to admit, that's. I'm going to have to take my glasses off to read that. Though you are playing with kids. I'm sure my kids' eyesight's a little better than mine. I would have preferred that be a little larger. Obviously, we're going to track some stuff on these boards or some kind of time going on. Art looks cool. Again, that's not very Warhammer looking. So it's a little different vibe than the original talisman. So I think we got a road warden there with his, uh, or an outlaw and his outlaw chief and his outlaws. It doesn't have that Games Workshop look, though. 
Like that is is a cool looking tree dude, but that is not a Warhammer Goblinoid. So despite having the talisman name, it doesn't seem to have pulled over the Warhammer license at all. Even though it's from Games Workshop. Though I get it, it's a kid's game too, right? You want a little, I don't know, I was a kid when I played Games Workshop. I was all about the chaos stuff. So we have five different adventures. Um, we will be playing this eventually with my girls, so I'll let us you know if it's a lot of replay value or not. So that's it. Uh, not a lot of components, but it's a kid's game. What do you expect? I really would love to know why there's slits in this box insert, like what they want me to put there. That's an odd. Or they like reused a box insert from another game, possibly. A little disappointed by the thickness of these and the fact they're warped. They're not terrible though. Like it's it's no worse than the player mats and say strong and uh, terraforming Mars. It's tolerable. Could be better. Lots of cardboard. Like that's that's this is now you get to see it all in one place. Like that's that's a significant amount. I don't know if I would have put four more of those on here with those player boards. Adds a lot of weight to it. So rule book. Rule book has uh, that same tiny font. We are looking at 12 pages. That's significant for a kid's game. That's, I shouldn't say kid's game. Family game. My bad. I'm correcting myself. Family game. It's not like this is expecting eight-year-olds to pick up and play it. Oh, it does explain what the box insert thing's for. Okay, so there there is some reason. I don't know. Some reason for the box insert to do that. So maybe the box insert's slightly better than it looks. I don't know what I'm putting back there. But there is a way to divide it up. And interestingly, we're going to put, like, name tags on the baggies. That's kind of neat. Hmm. Uh, I know very little about this game. I have not done a demo of this game. It looks like we're going to set up a map. We're going to move around on the map. And then you're going to pull stuff from your bag to do things. And then there's basic symbols. There's swords and wizard's hats and hourglasses. Um, it's showing to put, like, time into your bag. Rulebook looks solid. Um, there's different difficulty levels. That's nice. It looks like there's a way to save or win an adventure. So again, there's something with that box insert. This looks, I don't know. When you win an adventure, you get to mark something. So there might even be a slight out legacy aspect to this or campaign aspect, which would be awesome. Um, what's cool is actually the rules are only six pages, six and one little bit. And then it gets into the book of adventures. So then we're getting into the actual adventure. So that's a little better. That's more than what I expected. Yeah, this is telling you. Okay, so these adventures are in up into or above. This looks something different than the actual scenarios that are on the other cards. So you got a bunch of different setups with the tiles to set up different lands. It doesn't look like you're doing the whole go around the outside, go to the middle and get the kind of command. Uh, bonus for this summary on the back, icon summary, appreciated. Be nice if it was a separate sheet, but this is cool. Looks all right. Um, I gotta admit, I know very little about this game and how it's going to play. Just a huge talisman fan growing up and looking forward to sharing that experience, at least someone with the kids. So that is Talisman, the new cooperative family game. Now I do have a bonus here. I do have a promo for Talisman. So we're going to take a quick look at this. Again, I don't know the game. So I'm going to unbox this too. So this is in addition. I don't know. Normally you can get this promo at Origins. I'm assuming they probably bring it to all the different conventions. Uh, it says, use this hero as an alternate hero for Talisman Legendary Tales. So it's a new character. It looks like a female elf with white hair. You got a character standee, a toad, and all the stuff that would go in her bag. It's not a lot of unboxing here, but we'll pull this out. There you go. So here is the one and only, because I looked up on Board Game Geek, promo for Talisman. So I do have to thank Pegasus Spiel for including this. Uh, I will be doing a full review of this game in the coming weeks. Um, I know a girl who may be getting a copy of this tomorrow morning. It happens to be her 12th birthday. She's downstairs, so that's probably where this is going to go, and I'm sure we'll play pretty soon. So for the actual review, I'll watch my social media. You can find me everywhere as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. I'll be talking about the game as I play it. You'll be able to see pictures on Instagram. I'll be sharing stuff on Twitter and all that. Eventually, I will release a full written review. You'll be able to see that at tabletopbellhop.com. Plus, we'll be talking about it on our podcast, the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast. 
but you can watch us record live every Wednesday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern at twitch.tv forward slash tabletop bellhop. If you dig the content you just saw and you've been to the website and you're impressed by everything we're doing, it'd be really cool if you went to patreon.com forward slash tabletop bellhop and checked out our Patreon account. Now for Tabletop Bellhop, I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge. Uh, this has been a cardboard coat check, our unboxing series, where we took a look at what's in the box for Talisman Legendary Tales from Pegasus Spiel. Thank you for joining us. If you do have any questions in the chat room, we'll be getting to those in a minute. For those of you who are watching on YouTube, before you leave, hit that subscribe button. It'd be appreciated. Helps us get through the filters on YouTube. If you are watching on Twitch, hit the follow button. That way you'll know the next time I go live with another unboxing video like this, or perhaps a live play on Gloomhaven, which we tend to do on Friday nights at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Tabletop Bell Up. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bell Up. Good night and game on.